All right, guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're in the midst of Jacob's uh, loyalty mission. We just went to this camp and found out that basically his dad is pretty screwed up. Pretty evil dude, at least from what we're being told initially. That these people had landed here about eight, nine years ago, and they were stranded, and they didn't have any food besides what was on the planet. Sadly, the food on the planet makes you lose your mind. And... They were instructed to eat everything on the planet. Apparently, Jacob's dad told the people there would be a certain order of things and he was making people slaves. It was really screwed up, the whole plot line here. I guess we'll keep going and see what happens. Okay. Set this to explode. Oh, it sounds pretty safe. There we go. It's about to explode. Kasumi's new outfit is very cool. The red outfit. I like that. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. Really? Damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Huh. Ah. Looks like that dried up body was left as a warning. These newer ones were just... Here. Started fighting back. What the fuck? Yeah, apparently the hunters, which are the people he, his dad was sending out to hunt and find food, they rebelled against his his leadership. A Loki mech. Oh boy. Holy shit! He had plenty of choices. The late plenty of choices. Oops. I can't shoot him! He's right next to me, I couldn't aim for him. So that shit, the, the body exploded on the mech. That was cool. My shields are down. Not for long. are there? Still more. Thank God you've come. Yeah, thank God you've come. Now he wants out. Heavy pistol damage upgrade. Cool. Shout out to Snoutfoot, who did me a $1.30. He said, I, I heart marijuana. The DSP community is laughing. I can only unlock the rare and exotic marijuana themed DSP emo by gifting subs. I give subs to people who make me l lull. And swaggins because he swaggins. Oh. So Snoutfoot says that he wants to, to unlock the marijuana emo. Yeah, but you can only do that, I believe, by cheering. It's not by gifting subs. I believe it's by cheering. The marijuana emo. Yeah, because I think it's considered a cheer mo, right? <clears throat> Snow Carl said he got banned last night. Ah, oh, Snow Carl, come on, man. Uh, what happened? What's going on? Fine, I'll unban you. Okay. Thank you for the tip. I unbanned him. 
He was basically criticizing my Street Fighter gameplay last night, and he got banned for it. I didn't do it. a mod uh, had banned him. But, uh... Alright, let's continue. Oh, well, here they come. Hostiles! Hostiles! Come on up. I'm stuck. Now you see me. I can't get over this. Look. Oh, okay, finally. Shield to fail. No, that's okay. I got barrier. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Huh. It's so weird, you know. This is Jacob's dad. He's like, how the hell did he become such a corrupted dude, right? Brainwashed guard. Nice. A friggin' mech. Got him though. And, uh, yep, nice. Get down. <clears throat> Target down. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Yeah. Oh yes, Snout Foot. He stood another dollar. Says, "Oh crap! You needed to, you needed to cheer in order to unlock that emote." Yes, it's a, it's a considered a cheer emote or not cheer emote a. A cheering reward tier emo. So what it means is if you cheer a certain amount, every time you cheer on my channel, <clears throat> it tracks that on Twitch. And once you've cheered a certain amount, there's reward emotes that you unlock as, as a, you know, obviously a way of saying thanks for the support. And there's different ones. There's the Kappa face me, which is like the grayed out face of me, like Kappa. Then there's one where it's like a golden face of me, like a glowing golden head. And then the highest level one is that <clears throat> Ganja fill or whatever. The one with me wearing the Rastafarian stuff. So... Yeah, it's cheering. It's not gifting subs, dude. Okay. Thank you, for the, thank you though. I'm sure everyone's happy that you gifted so many subs. It obviously helps me and it helps uh, you know, a lot of people. So thank you, Snoutfoot, for at least being super supportive of that. And thank you for the tips as well. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Yeah, see, there it is. Friendless just did the, the Kappa Face Phil emote. Is that him? Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Well, let's find out. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. Nah. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Hey, never mind. Explain yourself. Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. It was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? 
Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob. Uh. My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? Yeah. And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. <laughs> at first. Said, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? <laughs> I can't point to where it all went wrong. <clears throat> but when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Jeez. Big D's at 100 bit cheers and congrats on hitting the goal yesterday. Maybe it was the power of the vest. It might have been. Might have been. Vest Fest was a success, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> what happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. <laughs> that was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Oh my god. You need someone to save your ass. Uh, Tony would take him too far after doing Renegade, so... Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. Huh. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'd shoot him. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Have charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. Chuck! Wow. Leave him a gun to kill himself. Damn! Oh, wow. Well then. He had, he had fucked up everyone's lives on the planet so badly. He kills himself. Holy shit. Good game goblin to me. Dallas is a problem I have with this game. The companions all look unique, but their family members look like generic NPCs and weren't given the same care. You're right. It's either all the NPCs almost look identical, right? They all look like generic archetype models. While you're right, the the crew members and everything are super unique and fun, but everyone else just kind of looks like shit. <laughs> I agree. <clears throat> okay. So, level up. We did level up. Survivors from Aya are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Please see Taylor unharmed psychologically by the experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. So, and a lot of the new power. Creates a shield that sucks huge amounts of damage. He's got a new outfit. Cool. 
Heavy pistol damage upgrade was found. We got some credits, some element zero. There we go. Very nice. Stinky Dink says, but did he deserve that fate? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what he deserved. Haha, <laughs> this is Renegade playthrough. We do the bad choices all times. Yeah, Alicia tried to the death sound like Lee from The Walking Dead. You're right, I wonder if he was. Okay. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Uh. May as well serve it in the air launch, hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. Yeah. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Whoa! Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. <laughs> Shepard, Jacob. You all right? Surprised about Miranda. Let's go. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. Hi, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. One time only, bitch. Let's not make a habit of it. <laughs> okay. Alright, we should see if we can afford the heavy pistol damage upgrade, but I don't know if we can. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, yeah. We can get this sniper rifle upgrade. That takes all my platinum, though. We have no platinum left. And then we can do a heavy pistol damage upgrade. Ooh, tech damage upgrade. 30% boost. That's a big boost. Nice. Oops. Tech cooldowns. 20% faster cooldown of tech abilities. We can do that one now. Aha! Uh -huh. We can now afford heavy ship armor. The Asari made Solar Solar Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure and helps the ship hold together if hit by blast powerful enough to penetrate the shields. <clears throat> so, another one I'd use a ton of resources, right? Okay. And these are just retraining and getting another special ability. Alright. So, we did all the upgrades now that are available to us so far. All right, I guess let's check out all the crew again. See if anyone has anything to talk about. Shepard, important news. No, you're ah. busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. Hmm. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Yes. You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might... Torture him, make an example. <coughs> Recovering <coughs> Malin would be a personal favor to me. Ah, they know what you did? Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. All right, let's do it. It's his loyalty mission. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. All right, at Tachonka, we got his loyalty mission unlocked now. 
That's why it's cool to just talk to your party members randomly and sometimes you unlock missions. I like that. Connie Kins Twitch has reset for five months. Thank you for five months of support, Connie Kins Twitch. He said, wanted to let you know my dog is pretty fat. It looks funny, that's all. Well, if your dog's pretty fat, you probably should do something about that. You don't want an unhealthy dog. Oh, Grunt, okay. I'm just curious if Jacob has anything further to say about the mission with his dad. <clears throat> Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Ah. Let's do this later. Okay. Snalvo just gifted a sub to Alex Mercury. Congrats, Alex Mercury. We'll talk the gifted sub. Thank you, Snalvo, for Commander. the support. Okay, so we know we have to talk to Grunt. Um, outside of that, I don't know if anyone else will have anything, but let's. I guess we could definitely talk to Grunt. Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. Let's do that in this floor first, Grunt. All right. Didn't I also unlock Jack Jack's loyalty mission? I think I did, right? I think so. Ugh. So the question is, should I go try to get all the party members I don't have yet? Or should I just continue on with loyalty missions with the members I do have? Should I do a DLC? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I have so many options now. Many more options than I had in the original playthrough. Okay, here's Grunt. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. <laughs> with my hands. All right. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. Hey, watch the ship. See? Why do that? What's wrong? <laughs> Snowfoot gives another sub to Sage Blake. Congrats, Sage Blake. Thank you, Snowfoot. Um... Peter Strips, could you please stop with the troll cheers? I appreciate that. If you're gonna cheer, that's fine. Please stop with the troll messages. Thanks. Okay. I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. Hmm. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. Huh. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Ah! Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld. Tuchanka. Tuchanka. We gotta go to Tuchanka for this too. <clears throat> Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. So we got two different missions for Tachanka, both Warden and uh, Gar uh, Garrus. Um, <laughs> Grunt, Warden and Grunt's loyalty missions, right? Okay. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Uh, Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Oh my god. And up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Damn, you had to kill Learned all of them? The despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. Hmm. So you're taking out a, 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 a settlement just like Jacob's dad. Never been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they sent you. In there, you got two Oops. choices. Still talking. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. Okay. Very enlightening. Thank you, Zaid, as usual. Uh, there's one more person here, right? Oh, is Jack on this level? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, shout out to Savage Beast 7097 who just reached over 28 months of support. Thank you so much, Savage Bees, for that much support. That's appreciated. And Snowfoot did another dollar, a thirty cent tip, tip, and says, "It's a celebration, bitches. Enjoy your emotes." I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. 
soon. That's right. We already got her. Uh, we already got her loyalty mission, so we're gonna have to go do that one soon. Project New American Century took me a dollar. So, what's your opinion on the dancing Israelis? Pretty weird. I have no idea what you're talking about. But thank you for the dollar tip, regardless. I have no idea what that is. Why'd you want to go there? Think about that. No, we remember. She wants to. Meanwhile, she wants to go to where she used yep. to be in prison, and she wants to blow it up. Remember? That's her loyalty mission. So I think we're unlocking all the loyalty missions so far. I don't think we have Garrus's yet. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients. Oh, that's right. Anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizer. Yeah, so every time... when you talk dirty. Every time you do a ship upgrade, if you come back here, they have a little quip or a little bit of commentary about it because they're the engineers, so they're the ones that make those ship upgrades work with the ship. Big D's at 100 bit cheers. I know you got a lot of games lined up. You still have any interest in playing Grandia HD? I really think you like the battle system. Yes, but not now for sure. Like I said, right now I can't take on any more. I've got multiple new games coming up this week, almost every week this month of March coming up. We've got a new game release. We got new chill things to go into the chill stream rotation now. So right now I'm going to be booked, okay? Thank you for the cheer, Big D's. All right. <clears throat> So I think just for the hell of it, we'll also go to the cruise quarters and see if anyone else has anything new. But I doubt... Like, I'm waiting for Garrus to unlock his loyalty mission, but we haven't gotten it yet. Did we get Miranda's loyalty mission? I can't remember. I think we might have, but I can't remember. So we're getting all the loyalty missions for my crew, which is good. But I'm still missing one, two... I think I'm still missing two to three crew members that I need to recruit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Feed the fish. Thank you, Sneaky Dinks. I will do that. Thank you for reminding me. I just got a message from my wife. I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's so cute. <clears throat> this mission's over. I'm going to give her the longest hug she's ever had. So his family is safe now and he's getting messages from them. So that's nice. Oops. Okay, so there's nothing here yet. It's a crew member we don't have yet. I believe this is Kasumi. There you are. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. <laughs> well, that was it. She's a little quips about <clears throat> all the loyalty missions. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Rupert, there's something different oh. with tonight's mail. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep talking. That's funny. Okay, let's see if Gary says anything. He never does, though. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. He's never, <laughs> he's never ready. He's never ready. Talk to you later. <clears throat> I'll be here if you need me. <clears throat> what the hell? And then Miranda, and then that's it. Then we go to the next mission. He's never ready to give you his, his loyalty mission. What is going on? <clears throat> if we have time, I'd like to go here to go. and relocate my sister's family. Ilium, that's her loyalty I'll let you mission. Know, Miranda. Okay. Of course, Commander. All right, we gotta decide what to do next. We're gonna do loyalty missions. There's two of them on the Krogan homeworld of Tachanka. But maybe we should just recruit some new party members first. But first, we gotta go feed the fish. <clears throat> we gotta feed the fish. Fed the fish. I love the Mass Effect 1 soundtrack. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, back to the uh to the to the map. Let's see what we want to do next. I love that. It's so good. Okay. No messages for you, Commander. Nothing new. Okay. On to the next. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> so we, we investigated all of Albert Draconis. We investigated all of Enoch. I think we did everything in this sector. We can leave now. 
Yeah, we gotta go back to the mass relay. You will have one half capacity. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we've got two things to do in the Omega. Uh, no, no, we have one thing to do in the Omega Nebula now. It's a new, a new mission. Recapture the freighter. That's a new mission that appeared. The Crescent Nebula is recruit the Ju Justicar, recruit the Assassin, help Miranda, give Liar intel, and Ilium. Holy shit! <clears throat> help Zaid and the Firewalker DLCs Ismar Frontier. Ah, Tachanga helped Grunt and Morden. The two missions there. <clears throat> Help Jack and the Nubian Expanse. Recruit Tali in the Far Rim. You know what? I think we're going to go recruit Tali in the Far Rim. That sounds fun. Let's do that. <clears throat> to the Far Rim. <clears throat> Alright, there's where we recruit Tali. Let's just look at the other planets first. Dueling. So I'm gonna have a lot of depleted minerals now. Yeah, look, the platinum and palladium are really low. Stock on my uh, my materials for upgrades later. Probe away. All right, shout out to Savage B seven zero nine seven who has now give, uh, did a ten dollar tip. Thank you very much, Savage Beast, for a ten dollar tip. That's the biggest tip of the day so far. Let's get you up on the leaderboard there. 7097. Thank you, Savage Beast. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> Larry Silverstein took me a dollar. So I'm thinking about insurance on my place against terror attacks. What's your opinion? You are asking the wrong person. I don't know anything about the insurance business, so don't know. Don't know and don't. Don't want to comment on something I don't know about. <clears throat> Nothing? It says moderate. Yeah, I can't find any more minerals. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm not holding the scan button. I'm a complete buffoon. <clears throat> Alright, enough of this. Let's go to a different planet. Gotha. A dwarf planet. Oh, super high palladium. Yeah, that was a lot. That was 3,000. And now we got super high platinum, which I need. Nice. And there's nothing really too good there. Oh, oh. Fire! Cool. Really, everything costs like 15,000, so. If I remember, in the original playthrough, doing this was a pain because it always costs so much money to keep restocking your probes. And I didn't have that much money. This playthrough's been no issue because it's my second Broke run. Away. They gifted me all that money at the beginning. So I'm really having any limitations when it comes to money in the game, right? Good restocking run here. Might as well get some iridium as well, even though I don't really need it. Yeah. 
Grove launch. Mature adult is cheery, sit, relaxing, watching the stream. We're having a food baby abortion. Have a great day. Wow. Food baby abortion, huh? <clears throat> this place has been great for palladium. Is it palladium or palladium? I think it's palladium. Could be wrong. away nice all right I think we're done here all right now to this heistrom planet to recruit Tali cool formerly a quarian colony heistrom was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan the system's parent star Dolan appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant Ultron was a lost to the geth in 1896 CE, soon after all communication with the planet and its patients ceased, to get them show no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. <clears throat> okay. So there's orbital construction around Hellstrom now. All right. Let's see what's going on with Tali here. They call me Jim Bob says, does the mining give you a hangry to go back to No Man's Sky? Hell no. As ridiculous as the mining is, it's, 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 uh, oh, there's this other outfit. Yeah, these, the alternate outfits are good. I like the alternate outfits. <clears throat> um, man, who do I want to take? I don't know who I want to take. Maybe I'll take it to some people who I haven't had in a while, like Zaid hasn't been with me for a while. So maybe I'll take Zaid. And... They're all good. I, I've been taking her on every mission. Sue me. So not her. And Jacka took a lot. Jacob was on the mission with me last. Morning. Gar How about Garrus? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. I got two points. Oh, shit. It's not really enough to do any upgrades that I would want, I don't think. So I'm just going to save them. Alright. I haven't upgraded Zaid at all. <laughs> All right, so Mercenary Warlord is help plus fifteen, weapon plus fifty, or help plus twenty weapon. All right, I want weapons plus fifty. That's awesome. <clears throat> Inferno grenade. Squammer's not loyal. I see. All right, I can't do anything else there. Snalfa, we'll give this up to cats like Jake. Congrats, cats like Jake again. Thank you, Snalfa, for all the support today. Much appreciated. <clears throat> he got six points. Okay. Oh, let's just go Turian Rebel level 3. And let's save it. Next level up. I'll make him Turian Rebel level 4. Okay. Now, Garrus. Still using the sniper rifle. I think the collector assault rifle is better than the others. I could be wrong. <clears throat> I don't remember. The Avenger assault rifle is the awesome looking one. That's the one I have the freaking replica of. Uh. Now nah, we'll keep we'll the Vindicator. What about Zaid? He also uses. Well, I have two snipers now. I sure we have two snipers in the same exact loadout. I didn't even realize that Zaid was a sniper. What the hell? Where did he come from? Bug. Oh shit, the sun's so hot. The bug vaporized. Ooh, Geth are back. Solar That's cool. Okay. This is cool. Uh, so direct sunlight will hurt the shields. And we're going to be fighting the Geth for the first time in a long time. First time this game. Shields are overheating, Shepard. If we stay in the shade, we should be fine. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Prime Rivers, so wasn't Gear supposed to be a bad guy in the first game? No, he worked for the Citadel security team and he didn't really trust you. But then you work together to figure out what's going on in the Citadel, and once you figure it out, then you team up.
So it's, they all died apparently. It was it was the uh, what are they called? This race? I forget. It's not Quarian, is it? No, whatever Tally's race is. We're fighting death out here. Interesting. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Look out. Oh, Jesus. Rocket Trooper. They were in the first game, too. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Shields are, are down because of the, uh, oh, fuck. Because of the sun. Yeah, so this door was, was opened. Oh, God, I gotta fucking heal here. This door was open and there were guests coming out of it, but now they're not here. Huh. Shout out to Florida Sucks who took me a dollar to can jet fuel melt steel beams. Here we go. It's the 9-11 conspiracy theory again. I have no idea. I'm not some kind of a physicist or a scientist. There's no way I could have answered this for you. But thank you for the dollar tip regardless. <clears throat> and Coral Guy, resubscribe for three years. Thank you so much, Coral Guy, for three years of support. Thanks for coming and hanging out on my streams, man. It's good to see you. Hopefully you're 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 well. I'm excited for some Mass Effect 2. <clears throat> and stay down! Okay, Tempest some machine gun. The following members can use it. Shepard, Miranda, Corrin... I don't, I don't think this is as good as what I have. <clears throat> Aquarian radio. They're all day. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I passed a lot of dead quarians on the way in. You're the first survivors I found. Shepard. Inspector Tally worked with. Oh, don't know why you're here, but right now any organic is a welcome sight. Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. How'd that go for you? <laughs> Huh. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We're a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it though. You know what's funny? I took the two people who are tech ability. They're really good against Quarian, so I actually took the right team, which is funny. What brought you this deep uh -huh. into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun is going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. The sun... The, okay. Any idea where Sun's the came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. The system's oh. under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. 
Do we have to worry about the Gat sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. What's your current position? I'm bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter that doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I'm gonna give my life to the migrant fleet. All the difference in the world. I'm not huh. like expert shit. <laughs> they tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe. I've done my job. All right. Full position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait. Watch your ass. We got a dropship coming in. Oh damn. Well, it sucks to be them. Now they're all dead. Do that, yeah. Now I can't get back up and get those items. I don't think. No, I can't. Put it on my way. Cause there were more items. I think of a ramp, and I didn't get to go up the ramp. I got, I got cheated. Oh well. I guess I'm not gonna get all the items. I don't know why I got this gun out. I never did that. I never selected that. Weird. Wait a minute, did I accidentally? Yeah, you know what happened? They gave me the new gun. I didn't select it. They gave me the new gun, though. For no reason. So now I have it. Even though I didn't want this SMG, I'm using it. I, I liked the one I got from, from Kasumi's loyalty mission, but they swapped it out without my permission. What a bunch of jerks. <clears throat> Solely99, subscribe for five months with the upcoming Guilty Gear Strive. Are you interested in revisiting some of the older games like Revelator 2? No, I don't. I never enjoyed Guilty Gear. I, I respect it. As a competitive game, but I never really liked the series gameplay or anything. So I don't play Guilty Gear. I don't really like it that much. Enemies ahead. Yeah, see, I don't like this gun. It doesn't have the control of the SMG that that Kasumi's mission had. Anyone else? Soldier said to use mining charges to blow through this rubble. Gotta find them. Whoa, you got blown to bits. See, my gun sucks now. This gun seriously blows. Oh god, there's a ton of them coming from over here. This should slow oh, down. He died. Oh boy! All right, it's time to bring out the big gun. Melt that motherfucker! Enough playing, playing around and pussyfoot and melt these fucks. So now, but now, give the sub to the big, big go goat. Congratulations to the big, big goat, and again, thank you, Snalvo, for all this support, man. <laughs> I don't think that they like this gun very much. Nice work. Melting them all. So one of the demolition charges at Tully's journal is over here. Bye bye. Melted. Hello, Beastbot. How's it going today, man? Good to see you. In the midst of action-packed mission here. 
in these demolition charges to save Tali. Here's her journal. That's right. It's first game. Aha. Uh -huh. So basically, she's she's learned from her you know her time with Shepard in Mass Effect One. She's trying to use some of the techniques that they used in the first game. Oh boy. Here we go. Melt that motherfucker to get Prime as tough as get. Melt him. Damn. So much for the get Prime, but I'm almost out of heavy ammo. Phew! One more. Anybody else? I'm almost totally out of ammo now. So we need to find one more thing of explosives. Oh, shout out to Silent Bob, just to be $37. Good to see you, Silent Bob. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for this very, very generous tip, as always. Shit. Thirty-seven dollars. That again brings us up to eighty-two dollars a tip so far today, guys. Thank you very much. I'm getting better at basic arithmetic now. <laughs> now that I have to do all this adding of, of tips all the time. I'm actually getting better at basic arithmetic, which is pretty funny. Prime Rabier just uh, says, "Sorry, I missed your your retrospective event." I was busy last week. I'll catch the next one when you do it again. No problem. And remember, you can catch all of my archive stuff over on DSP Gaming whenever you want on YouTube. You don't have to be here live for the events, even though it is cool to be here live to interact when, when oh shit, when it is being live broadcast, you don't have to be here for that. Oh boy. Because of shot ready. Yeah, I'm about to be out of ammo, so I guess we're gonna have to go back to this. I, what I really don't like is that they changed out my fucking SMG without my permission. That blows. Oh god, the sun. It's next to impossible to get accurate solar measurements. The radiation keeps burning out our equipment. Huh. This sun shouldn't be like this. It was stable a few hundred years ago. Stars don't die that quickly. Hmm. Uh, yes, Michelle Obama, we're aware of what happened in Seattle with the coronavirus today. We're not going to talk about it yet again for the hundredth time, but thank you for the dollar tip. Okay. <clears throat> nothing here, nothing here. So we could go this way. Shutter control. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. Anything here? There's a med station. Okay, let's open the shutters and see if this gives us like a vantage point. Maybe we're supposed to fight people from up here. Yeah, it might have been it might have been cool to snipe them from up here, but I already killed everyone down there. There's some refined iridium down there to grab. Okay. Grab that iridium and then head over there. It's probably where the, the second explosive is. Yeah. Stop that, Shepard. Stop that. Oh. Well. 245 heavy weapon ammo. Nice. Okay, we'll go back to the heavy weapon for now then. Since I got more ammo. Silent General, just please subscribe for 28 months. Thank you so much for 28 months to support Silent General. I appreciate that, man. Welcome to the stream. We're trying to recruit Tali. She's in trouble to get the... Oh, boy. They get the ambusher. Firing eye impact shot. Done. Melted. <clears throat> I completely missed. Headshot, baby. Taking too much fire. If we head to the left, we can flank them. Ah. Ah. 
Say goodbye, destroyer! I am out of ammo. I do have to say the Geth look pretty good in this game. In Mass Effect 1, they were a very, very common enemy type. In this game, they're one of many different enemy types. But I like how they look in this game. I think they, they upgraded their looks a lot. <clears throat> okay. That's enough. Oh, Let's shit. Before it blows. Back away. Save those quarians. God. Motherfucker. Okay. Gorian architecture. There's two words you don't expect to hear together. Huh? How the hell would the Quarians come this far into Geth territory? Just a simple gift this rifle. Valuable. Assault rifle upgrade. Another damage get. More credits. <clears throat> Bypass the wall saves. Get some money. Give me the money. Tully's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Shut up. Oh good, I could change my freaking... My gun that I don't want. Yes, it's the shuriken is the better one, right? Or is it the locust? No, I can't remember. No, it's the locust is the better one, right? Tully's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Now I'm confused. Which one of these is the one that I got during the Kasumi mission? Now I don't remember. It wasn't the Tempest, was it? I can't remember. <laughs> Does anyone know before Tali goes crazy here? Anyone know which is the one that I got from the uh, the mission? Because that's the one I want to equip, and I can't remember which one it is. It's not... I don't think it's the Shuriken. That's a pistol. I think, is it the Tempest? It's the Tempest, isn't it? I think it's the Tempest. No, it's the bottom one? The Locust. That's the one I got from... Alright, I'm so confused. Tully's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Shout out to Snoutfoot, who gifted a sub to Be the Colonel. Congrats, Be the Colonel. Thank you to La Latiler or Latiler, who subscribed to the channel. And everything's fine. Tip me a dollar. And here we go. How can you sit down and play video games with the Corona Libraries as an outbreak? People are ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Tally the base camp. 